Hellos, bonjour, mabuhay, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to do a one-year update review of my Hermes orange sandals. So if you're interested to know what are my thoughts, just stay tuned. Hey loves, welcome back! By the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome! My name is Roma and it is so nice to meet you. I make videos such as hauls, unboxing, reviews, first impressions of some contemporary as well as luxury items such as handbags, SLGs, shoes, so if you're interested in one of those topics, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my videos. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment as it will help the algorithms of my channel. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram where I do some OOTD outfit of the day and where I also share how I wear these items on a daily basis. And lastly, I would like to thank all of my returnee subscribers for your support and for always tuning in. Also, before I start this video, I would like to let you know that I did some timestamps throughout the video, so feel free to check those timestamps in the description down below. Also, I made an unboxing video of my orange sandals. I'm going to put the card just right there, as well as the link in the description down below, so you have an idea of how the unboxing went. And then a few days or weeks afterwards, I also made another video where I did kind of like a first impression, a first review of my orange sandals. I'm going to put the card just right there as well and the link in the description down below. Go check those two videos out so you have an idea how it went on those first few months. Okay, so I'm going to start the review with the specs of the sandals first. So I'm just going to show you first how the sandals looks like. So as you can see, this are the older version of the sandal because it has two toned color leather on the insoles so the one that i have is as you can see it's in the calfskin leather with the iconic h cut out and then the color that i have is in the color gold that is what it is called in at Hermes. this is the cold color but as you can see in general this is the tan or brown color and then this one has the gold um with the beige écru um, stitches so as you can see there so it is highlighted and then the sandals are made in Italy and these sandals exist in different colors and also some of them also in different type of leather so uh, as you can see it has the natural leather sole with a gold lining and this pair retails currently retails for 510 euros it arrived in um separate i mean it has its own dust bag and also it arrived in a box okay so now that i have talked about the specs let's go diving to the wear and tear so like i have mentioned i've had this pair since last year so it's been a year so i have used it during summer of 2021 during fall of 2021 and since we're summer now i am going to start using them so i'm just going to show you the wear and tear on the um front part first and then i'm going to show you the back part just to let you know that the back part is quite dirty so yeah you are informed okay so as for the front part so as you can see that's how the leather looks like and in here on the H cut out, as you can see, there are some wear on the leather part, which is quite normal because when I walk, that is where the part that it the leather bends. So that is um, obviously there will be some wear on that part. But as for using it for a year, I think that the wear on the H cut out is still, I think it's quite good. And then the second wear that I can see is 
on the let's say I'm trying to going to show you on the you know on the wooden sole in here because when I walk which is quite normal there will be some as you can see there there will be some wear there so that is quite normal I think for uh, using this for a year and then the other wear that I can see also is on the front part as you can see in here I don't know if you will be able to see it but just going to show you right there see so there's some um, parts that's coming off but I, yeah like I've mentioned it's normal because I'm wearing it outside on the street on pavement or even on stones whatsoever so yeah I I really use it as a normal sandals and I'm not babying it in that way the only thing though is that I'm not using it during when it rains uh, and then apart from that I've used it at any occasions so yeah the wear on the each cut out the wear on the upper part and then on the side and as for the leather itself on the insole I don't think that I have any you know any wear or tear on that even on the left foot as well so even though I have the older version like I've mentioned earlier the two-toned I don't have any problem with the part in here because a lot of people has some um, you know um, bad experience with the leather in here apparently it hurt their um, kind of hurt their foot or whatsoever but not on my side so for that one for that part I'm quite lucky so no wear on that part as well and I'm just for what I can see inside the leather part under the H cut out in here so this is leather uh, it has a slight wear but not that much it's scrubbing against my feet but apart from that there are no wear as it is um, on that part so yeah that those are the wear on the fur on the upper part now I'm just going to show you the back part yeah just letting you know it's quite dirty and I'm just going to inform you that I'm going to wash my hands afterwards so yeah so as for the back part I'm just going to show it like that so as you can see I haven't you know put any protection on the um, sole in here I didn't went to the cover but I think in a few months time or, or in a few years time I might go and put some protection under but as for now I didn't want to put anything under there um, I think the leather held quite well um, of course it's dirty because I was walking on the floor with this so yeah but apart from that I think that everything is still okay even the rubber part in here the fit in here so no problem at all so it's a normal wear for the uh, a pair of uh, sandals so yeah as for the wear and tear I don't see any tear at all because like I've mentioned I mainly use this during a good weather uh, I'm not using it when it rains or snow so yeah so I uh, it held quite well after using it for one year so wear and tear is quite normal for a one year use okay so now that I have mentioned the wear and tear of the sandals now I'm going to let you know the pros and cons of the sandals so the very first pro for me for this pair of sandals is its versatility so versatility in two ways the versatility on the color combo as well as the style of it so for the color it's very versatile like i've mentioned earlier i opted for the color gold so color tan and this color combo really goes well with all of my outfits and with any color as well i have been able to wear it during summer season with the summer clothes and during fall which is more you know darker colors and on spring which with lighter colors so i think the color combo of this pair really made it versatile and then apart from the color combo it is the style itself as you can see it is very aesthetically pleasing to the eyes and once you wear it as well very nice on your feet so i have been able to wear the this pair casually so in a more casual outfit as well as in a more formal outfit so it kind of like 
um, it elevated my outfit in a certain way so I've been able to use it for example for the whole day as a casual pair of sandals and then I just change my outfit into a nighttime and then I wear this and it elevates also the um, the outfit itself it makes it more formal so that is the second versatile way um, that I have been able to use it so it's very versatile not just for the color but also for the style and then the second pro as well is that it is a very um, as I've mentioned earlier very pleasing aesthetically pleasing to the eye very minimalist and very um, classy so that is also another pro for me, very Instagrammable as well. By Instagrammable, I'm going to show afterwards some pictures of how I wear this um, that I have posted on my Instagram so you have an idea how it looked like on me. So yeah, that is also another pro. And then the last pro is the fact that the this pair is quite lightweight so not heavy at all so when i walk with this pair of sandals it is um very easy to walk with it since it's very lightweight i think it's also due to the fact that it is leather so yeah so th those are the pros of the um, sandals itself now as for the cons um i do have some cons and the very first con will be and that is for unfortunately for me is the fact that I like wearing them but I know that if I wear them I will have major blisters because in here on the each cut out on this side and on this side there are some uh, flashes of my feet that comes up out on that part and when I walk without resting let's say I walk with this uh, during the whole day without resting I'm sure that once I get home and take them off I'll have major blisters so that is the big con for me with this pair um, it's been a year that I have them and I'm still getting you know I'm still breaking in on this pair unlike for other uh, videos um, people that had this pair also they say that it is very easy to break in unfortunately on my side it is not easy even though that I have small and slim feet it's still not uh, I still haven't been able to break in in this pair so that is a big con for me and then the second con will be of course the price tag it's a con for me because since I'm getting a hard time breaking it and getting major blister with it the price tag in this case is a con for me because it's still a hefty 510 euros even though I paid for it a little less because last year I had the last year's price and that has there has been a, a price increase the beginning of this year that's why it's 510 this this year but since even though I've paid under 500 it is still a big amount of you know money so yeah that's a a con for me but of course for those of you who uh, haven't got any blisters by wearing it I think that the price tag won't be a con if the sandals didn't give them blisters but for me yeah so that is the other con but yeah those are the two cons for me and then actually that's it I didn't have a lot of cons uh, because I think on my side the pros weighs it more so because of the versatility that I have been able to use them so those were the pros and cons for my Hermes Aran sandals Okay, so now my final thoughts on my Hermes Oren sandals. I think it kind of sums up with everything that I have mentioned on the wear and tear as well as the pros and cons. So all in all, in short, do I recommend the Hermes Oren sandals? Yeah, 
I do. Even though I get blisters from them, I do recommend them because I think the fact that I have been able to wear them with different type of outfits, casually as well as formal, it's very aesthetically pleasing to the eyes and very classy. Even though I get blisters, I still do recommend them. The only thing though is that I highly suggest that if you have the opportunity to try them at the boutique, go try them at the boutique because it will really differ from one type of feet to the other. So yeah, highly recommend too. Um, try them because for me I I have the 35 and a half it is my size it is um, for my feet at least they are true to size because I have small and um, slim uh, feet so yeah that is for my side so I advise you to go check if you have a boutique to try them out but other than that yeah even though I get blisters from them I still recommend them because even for the wear and tear, like I've mentioned, there are some wear here, but it is quite normal. I didn't put any protection on the back, but it is still, you know, a good wear for what it is. And then very versatile, like I've mentioned, goes well with any outfit, very lightweight, just blisters for me, maybe not for you. So that's why, yeah, final thoughts, I do recommend them. So yeah, if you have the opportunity, try them. And if you like them, go have them and add it into your collection so there you go guys that was my one year update review with some wear and tear pros and cons of my Hermes orange sandals i hope that this video has helped some of you out there who are you know on the fence of getting a Hermes orange sandals or even just this color combo and if that was the case and if this video has entertained you please consider giving it a big thumbs up and also leave a comment in the comment section down below let me know what um have you thinked about the video because it will really help the algorithms of my channel and also for those of you who are liking the contents of my video but aren't subscribed yet please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell that way you won't miss any of my future videos so until then i hope all of you guys to stay safe and see you on my next video take care bye